a young woman missing for nearly a year. My sister Waher has been missing since December 23rd, 2020. Family desperate for answers. They won't give us no information. How is it easier to find my sisters as complete bones? Let's get into the case of 26 year old Jawahir Aji. What a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La, like Alice Jawahar and her family lived in a war-torn country They lived a life of fear and suffering Tragically, at the age of 14, Jawahar lost her father. Her mother wanted safety for her children. They went seeking asylum in America in 2009, and fortunately settled down in Las Vegas, Nevada. Being a loving and responsible young girl, she took care of her widowed mother and siblings. Her mother adored Jawahar and her siblings looked up to her and saw her as a second mother. She was known for her contagious smile, which lit the room up when she walked in. As a kind-natured and caring soul, she uplifted people's moods. Jawahar wasn't just a great role model to her family or an amazing friend. She was smart and focused and aspired to become a lawyer and to also get into real estate. After studying hard, Jawahar enrolled into CSN College. The 25th of December came around. Jawahar's family realised she had not been in contact with any of them. It has been three days since anyone had spoke to Jawahar. They took the dreaded steps and reported Jawahar missing. Las Vegas police put out a missing persons detail asking for assistance from the public. Eventually, Jawahar's car was located by the police on Shaded Canyon Drive. At 3am, the police informed her mother. I have actually spoken with her mother, who is pain-stricken with grief. No words can explain my pain. No words. This pain is from, it's, it's heart pain. I can't explain it. She desperately wants answers and gave me the correct information so I can tell Jawa her story. When she was informed that the car had been located, herself, along with Mariam, Jawa her sister, went to the location. They say there was no police, no photos or no fingerprints taken at the crime scene. They called the police, who then told them to come back at 6am. They got there an hour early at 5am. There was no police there until 9am. Her phone, wallet and keys were in the car. Her sister said she never left her phone unattended. CCTV footage in that area showed Jawahar walking alone. It was around 4.30pm on the 23rd of the 12th, 2020, near an active construction site. She was wearing a pink hoodie and black sweatpants. My sister, Waher, has been missing since December 23rd, 2020. She was last seen walking at an active construction site in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the last people to see her were the construction workers. The dog also lost her scent on the mountain. The police have no idea what happened to my sister. They have no idea where she is. How could a person just disappear like that? We believe that somebody kidnapped my sister, and we need the public's help to bring her back home. She walked on the Amagosa Trail, located on the base of the Black Mountain. Jawahar's mother said she didn't like hiking at all. It was not something she enjoyed doing. Her sister said Jawahar had never been to the site or knew where it was. Jawahar's mother asked the police for the footage of the CCTV cameras around that area and local businesses, but she was denied access. The police, along with Jawahar's family and friends, searched the area on foot and also using drones, ATVs and helicopters. All efforts were unsuccessful in finding her. Three months later, the police and Red Rock Search and Rescue searched the area. They used cadaver dogs, which picked up Jawahar's scent, but lost it on the Armagosa Trail. The case went cold. It has been nine months since Jawahar's disappearance. Her family lived through the pain of not knowing where she was each and every day. They were starting to wonder if they would ever get answers. Then, on the 6th of September, a climber was out on Black Mountain. He spotted something unusual and went for a closer look. Tragically, it was skeletal remains. 
Disturbingly, only part of Jawahar's remains were found. Her head wasn't attached to her body. The autopsy took a while due to the unusual circumstances. What makes this case even sadder is that Clark's County Coroner's Office determined that they were unable to find a cause of death. So I'm making this video as an update on what happened to my sister. This has been really hard for me to make, um, which is why. They found my sister in the same place that she was last seen, the same place that we've been searching. They said they just found her, her bones and just her hair, nothing else. Um, it's just so crazy to me how they were able to find my sister in the same location we were searching every day. We searched with drones, with helicopters on foot, with ATVs with canine dogs, cadaver dogs, everything. There was even um, hikers every day hiking that trail where my sister was last seen. And no one saw her. There was no sign of my sister. And we wait a couple of months and they just call us and say, oh, a random climber found, found her. And that's it, they won't give us no information. How is it easier to find my sisters as complete bones than when she was like a full human body, you know? How is that? We need answers. I need justice for my sister. This is not okay. We need to know what happened with her. After all the searches and all the people looking, how did she become unseen for nine months? Jawahar's mother asked the police to get the FBI involved, but they refused. She also requested a professional company search the area, but the police refused it. They said it was a crime scene, although it was open to the public. Jawahar's family feel the police did not do enough and wish to raise awareness to Jawahar's case. Could they have done more? Is this another case of police negligence? Comment down below on what your thoughts are. Jawahar's family deserve answers. Our goal is to help and spread the word and maybe one day bring them closure. There is a GoFundMe dedicated to Jawahar to help find a criminal lawyer to pursue an investigation of the nature of her death and disappearance. It also helps the family with support. I'll leave a link in the description if anybody wants to donate. Jawahar was the life of the party. She was energetic and outgoing and touched the hearts of everyone she knew. She will be truly missed and loved. Finally, we hope Jawahar's mother and sister and the rest of her family get the answers they're looking for. Rest in peace, Jawahar Haji.